Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Friday morning beach walk at Belnor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. We're up here at the north end of the park up by Wiggins Pass waiting for sunrise, just enjoying the beautiful colors, the gorgeous, gorgeous sun rays. Look at that. Look at those incredible colors. Ryan, good morning. Virginia, good morning. This little breeze coming out of the east now to pick up. It was very calm earlier. Got a couple nice photos of those sun rays this morning with the wide angle lens. Video, the live video is cool, but it just doesn't do it justice. You don't get to see the whole view. But it's better than nothing, in my humble opinion. Kathleen, good morning. see the sun pop up. There's a lot of clouds over there this morning on the horizon. We've been seeing the sun come up just to the right of the condo all the way over there on the right. The water temperature is about 80 seven degrees now. The tide, we're at high tide up here at Wiggins Pass right now. We are at high tide. 75 degrees and breezy. Probably gonna see some afternoon showers. Man, we've been getting the afternoon showers, the thunderstorms. Man, the lightning has been really intense. Three days in a row now. Yesterday, there was actually a little mini tornado that touched down by Clam Pass Beach down to the south of us. If you go to my Southwest Florida television group page called Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, just go to that group. You'll see a little video that one of our friends captured of that tornado. He shot it from all the way up here. It was a mini tornado, so nothing to freak out over, but still it's some bad weather. Nothing like those tornado tornadoes that get in the Midwest. Well, thank goodness we don't get those here. We hurricanes are bad enough. We don't need big tornadoes to deal with. here into the in the gulf now getting that little pink band of color Louise good morning supposed to be getting more of that Saharan dust rolling in next week 
Let's see what that does to our colors. You never know. Sometimes it really intensifies them. Sometimes it washes them out. See, almost lost all color right in here. It's, the yellows are almost white. It's just constantly evolving in the morning here. And you never know what to expect. Every morning's a little bit different. Sometimes a lot different. The morning before you last. Man, the colors were incredible. The clouds. Got that right, Gunther. Evolving. Everything, just like life, is evolving. This little lagoon is like a little breakfast buffet for all of our birds. Little fish come in here and they can't figure out how to get out of here. There's only a couple birds in here right now. Sometimes there's a lot of them. Lisa, good morning. Tammy, good morning. Yeah. The shells, I don't know what's going on. Why we don't have any shells here anymore, Tammy. I, I know it's because I'm sure the dredging, you know, changed everything. I'm sure we're going to get our shells back. But what did you think? Oh, the beach up here starting to rebuild itself. Isn't that kind of cool? Beaky cat, good morning. Unless, yeah, summertime isn't good. Unless we get one of the a big storm. Then all bets are off, man. One summer, I saw a mountain of shells out here after a, a big storm, a tropical storm. Randy, good morning. Tammy is one of those lucky ones that gets to come here in person. I know a lot of you wish you could come and visit our beach here. Yeah, that is, that's ridiculous, Tammy. Absolutely ridiculous. Who in, on earth would do that? Very sad, very, very sad. But you know what? It's just the plaque. We don't need a plaque to remember Roy. He's in our hearts, our souls. in my mind all the time. You won't get out. <laughs> Got so many great memories of Roy. I don't need a plaque. It was sweet. but His legacy lives on and we got plenty of videos of him.
Hey Rose, happy Friday. Getting a little color there now. Where that sun's gonna pop up. Again, a few minutes till sunrise here. It's always fun seeing those turtle nests. Got very lucky this sea turtle nesting season and happened to get catch one up on the beach early in the morning was able to get that video. That doesn't happen too often during my beach walks. I was happy to be able to get that and share it. Every once in a while something amazing happens in the morning. Well, every morning is amazing. Just the sun rising is amazing. Let's see if this guy catches a fish while we're waiting for the sun to pop up. Let's see if he catches anything. He's looking right at me. Ugh. He didn't want to perform this morning. Mm -mm. Screen Actors Guild's going to be after me. Probably wanting his royalties. Any good morning, Gunther. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh goodness the tide's just turning now and starting to go out that water does not look very pretty this morning here in the pass all the rain a lot of tannin in the water it looks like tea the tannins from the mangroves and it's very brown it's like a reddish brown Plus, you got the runoffs with some pollutants in them. Unfortunately, we got to make sure we pollute everything, you know. That's how we are. God gives us all these beautiful gifts, and we just go and ruin them. I think we're starting to learn. we're starting to figure things out. Hopefully another generation or two we'll have things straightened out. It's usually not until you lose something that you really appreciate it. But I don't want to lose our water and our oceans and our sea creatures. I don't want it to come to that. Hey, Joan, good morning. It is beautiful. Can't think of a nicer place to be in the mornings than right here at Wiggins Pass, waiting for the sun to rise with my beach family. Becky Payton, good morning. little lagoon here, a little heron, I think, was going after it. Where the little heron went, a big fish jumped right over, right over in here.
Paul. Good morning. Happy Friday. Let's hit that share button. We'll do our usual thing here. We'll wait for the sun to rise and then we'll take our little stroll down the beach. See if we run across anything interesting. Yesterday I bumped into a fisherman, a young man, who's just sharing some fishing stories with me. Sandy, good morning. Brian, good morning. Brian's one of those generous folks that sends me a tip every now and then. I do appreciate that, Brian. There is Sandy. Hey, my dear. I've known Sandy for quite a while. That's good morning. Sun's coming up. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see it through those clouds this morning. Well, yesterday we caught it just as it was coming up over the trees. That was cool. We're in that little crack between the bushes and the buildings there on the right. That's where the sun's going to come up. So many bugs up here. Gorgeous, gorgeous glow there. Beautiful. Boat heading out there in the distance, heading out the pass here, another one coming in. Our gnats are everywhere this morning, man, all over the place. There's a look out, the pass. Come in to get some bait here. Birds just flew over and landed on the boat. <laughs> they do not pass up an opportunity for a free meal. <laughs> I 
Thanks for the stars, Paul. I don't know if that sun's up yet or not. If it's behind those clouds. That sure is a beautiful sight. those reflections that are just so awesome in the water. Yeah, everything, the way it all just comes together. Lori, have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Here it comes. Here it comes. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's sneaking over a little bit more to the right. Can you see the sun there? Look really close. Can you see that little dot? Can you see it over there? Here it comes. Our first peek at the sun. Yes, yes, yes. And I think I hear the church bells are ringing. Seven a.m. thing better than this is if you were standing right here with me watching this. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just heard something. Where did I hear it? Hang on, I just heard a dolphin come up. 
Looks like he's swimming up. There he is. One dolphin. Maybe two dolphins. Making their way up the pass and up river. A big one and a little one. Maybe three. One, two. Come on, all of you pop up together. Where is that? Where'd you just go? Where'd you just go? One, two. Oop, going down, taking a dive down. When they arch like that, they're going down deep. The tide's going out, so they're swimming against the current. Heading over to the other side of the pass. Yep, three of them. Maybe four of them. pretty good clip considering they're swimming against the current. They're getting pretty far away. When they dive down, it takes them a little while to come up, so there's no telling where they're going to come up now. Here they are. <laughs> How sweet we get to see some dolphins. A little family heading into the backwater. That was awesome. That was a nice little treat. So if they come up by this marker, they usually go by that marker. Sometimes they hang out by the markers. Yep, see it? You can see a little fin popped up. That was great. Great, great, great. Thought I heard a dolphin expelling its breath there. And look at our sun. Glorious. A glorious, glorious morning. Man, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being a friend. I got a hundred stars from Paul. Paul sent me a hundred stars this morning. I get a penny a star, so there's a dollar. Every penny counts these days, my friends. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit that share button. All right, I think I'm going to end this live feed and start another live feed and we'll take our walk down the beach. So stick around, stay tuned. Hopefully you'll get a notification. If not, check back in five or so minutes. If I don't see you later, though, have an awesome, awesome Friday. Thanks for being a friend. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.